Welcome to Pregnancy and Birth Diaries. Today we'll be talking about something that is not necessarily festive or cheerful, but it's a very important topic, strep B infection. Streptococcus is a bunch of bacteria that live in our bodies. There are different types, but two important ones are group A and group B. Strep A can make us sick with things like sore throat, um, skin infections, or even more serious stuff like scarlet fever or infections that go deep into the body. It spreads through coughing, sneezing, or touching someone who's got it. Strep B, on the other hand, hangs out in our gut, bottom, or private parts without causing any trouble for most people. But sometimes in pregnant women, it can cause problems like infections in the bladder or get passed to the baby during birth. Babies can get really sick with pneumonia or infections in their blood or brain because of Strep B. While many bacteria, including strep B, coexist harmlessly in our bodies, some can, um, can cause illness when they get out of balance or enter parts of the body they should not be in the first place. Normally, bacteria like streptococcus live in specific places like the throat, gut or genital area without causing any harm. But when these bacteria move to other areas where they don't belong or when the body's defenses are uh, weakened, they can cause infections. For example, when our immune system is weakened, these bacteria can grow more than usual and lead to infections. Or in certain cases like childbirth or through a wound, bacteria that typically live harmlessly in one place can get into places where uh, they cause problems. So while these bacteria are a natural part of our bodies, they can cause sickness when things aren't in balance or when they get into uh, places where they shouldn't be. Um, however, not everyone carries this bacteria. Around 25% of women in US have strep B and there are no symptoms and most expectant uh, mothers with strep B give birth to healthy babies, but there's a slight chance of passing it to your baby during birth. So it's not common, but when it happens, it can lead to health complications and health issues for the baby. I know someone who had it and Unfortunately, uh, her newborn got infected during um, childbirth. Um, it's all good now, but they had to spend a week in the intensive care unit with this infection. Um, normally, depending where you are in the world, your doctor will offer you to take the test between 35th and 37th pregnancy weeks. Swaps will be taken from vaginal and rectal area to send to the lab, and if the results come positive for strep B, then there might be antibiotics treatment um, offered during labor to reduce the risk of transmission uh, to a newborn during birth. All right, that is it for today. Uh, talk to your doctor about this and stay well and I will see you next time.